name Daniela and I am the SolidWorks and SolidWorks PDM SME for SPK and Associates. Today I wanted to go over a splash screen crash that kind of surprised me. I hadn't seen this one before so I wanted to cover it here with everybody. Uh, so the user would start up SolidWorks as you can see here, totally normal splash screen, but as soon as we got to the loading user interface section, this would close out. And we'll give it a bit of time here to show that. So loading registry worked just fine after a moment. Loading user interface components, complete crash. How do we solve this? So I've seen this very commonly. Um, have, I've seen some, some splash screen issues commonly, but this one, everything I threw at it, nothing resolved it. So I'll go over those troubleshooting steps here, including what finally did work. Uh, so first, when you have this happen, I do recommend starting SolidWorks in a safe mode. And to do that, you can go ahead and open up SolidWorks RX. This is included with every SolidWorks install. So as long as you have SolidWorks installed on that machine, you are good to go to use SolidWorks RX. Here you have software OpenGL and bypassing the tools and options setting. So I do recommend trying both. Um, I did try both in this instance. Um, OpenGL can really pinpoint a graphics card issue while this gives you a very default install of SolidWorks. Um, it takes away all your customizations, uh, but the crash continued. So this is a great place to start, but for me, it did not resolve my issue. So next, uh, inside the RX tool, while we're here, there is a diagnostics tab. Now this is a good tool as well. This can tell you if you're running low on disk space, RAM, this is a great tool um, to, to use um, to see if there's anything you can improve on that machine. Uh, on this particular user's machine, I didn't find anything uh, that could cause this, so ruled this one out. Next, I did move on to the registry. Uh, as always, use caution when working with the registry, um, and if you don't feel comfortable doing so, please reach out to your IT department or your value-added reseller. Uh, in this case, I took a look at the SolidWorks key here under computer, let's see here, current user, software, and as you can see here, I have a key that holds all of the, all of the registry keys for SolidWorks. Um, and I had multiple, uh, multiple installs on my machine, so that is why you see multiple versions here. What you're going to want to do is right-click, rename your current key. And as you can see, I've done this before in the past. You can do underscore old, really just rename it so that it is no longer SOLIDWORKS 2021, 2018, whatever version you were on. Um, what this does is as soon as SOLIDWORKS uh, is opened up as soon as the splash screen comes up it will generate a brand new key so if there's anything corrupt or missing here um, it, a brand new key will get generated um, so that is what I did it continued to crash so this this is usually a great great tool this usually solves most of the splash screen issues I see it did not do so in this case so moving on if this does not work um, I do recommend going ahead and repairing the SOLIDWORKS install. Now here I have apps and programs. You're going to want to scroll down to your SOLIDWORKS install and click modify. You'll have the option to repair there. Uh, I will note if you install via software center or, or something uh, in admin image, you may not be able to repair. So I'd reach out to your IT department, uh, your SOLIDWORKS admin, um, or your value-added reseller for some tips there. And I sadly, sadly, that did not solve my issue. So this was the next step I took. Um, let's see here. I ran FFC scan now, which basically looks for corrupt system files. This is in PowerShell. So I wrote down some instructions here on how to do that. Please feel free to pause screenshot. Uh, this is the next step that I took. It did take a few moments. Once that was complete, I still kept coming across that splash screen crash. No other way around it. Could not resolve this issue. 
So I was left with the final, final um, option of completely uninstalling and reinstalling SolidWorks. Uh, doing a complete uninstall does have some steps such as deleting registry keys. I found this guide here by MLC CAD, um, and I'll highlight this link, to be extremely helpful. Um, I followed their steps and this is finally what resolved that splash screen issue. So if you are having a user who is also stuck at that loading user interface components uh, splash screen before it crashes, please give these steps a try. Um, like I said, what ended up working for me <laughs> was a complete uninstall and reinstall. And the guide here by MLC CAD was very helpful. Uh, for more SolidWorks and SolidWorks PDM tricks and tips, please stay tuned.